Hi gorgeous! In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to recreate the look that I was wearing in Monday's video. There were so many requests for a tutorial in the comments. Thank you so much for all of your compliments. I'm so happy that you liked that look. It's really easy to recreate and to do it you just need the Kat Von D shade and light palette. So I'll be showing you everything from start to finish. The first thing I'm doing is applying an eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And while I'm waiting on that to dry, I am applying a moisturizer and sunscreen. This is the one from Paula's Choice. Still really been loving her skincare, by the way. I mean, goodness, look at my skin. I haven't broken out once. Well, except for this right here. This just happened the other day. But other than that, I haven't broken out in a few weeks now, which is unheard of. And I feel like my skin is finally normalized. Is that possible? <laughs> I guess so. The primer is still not dry yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply an under eye cream also. I'm using the Clinique Pep Start. From the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm taking this shade and this shade, and I'm going to be mixing them together. I'm first applying the orangey shade into the crease I'm using the Sigma E25 brush. A real light deposit, nothing too heavy. And then I'm going in with that brown shade and applying that over that orangey shade and blending the two together there in the crease. The first shade just helps to warm up the second shade. And this is one of those looks that has become my go-to when I don't know what to wear, when I don't feel like being creative. It's just the one that I pull out of my hat and it works every single time. And I'm taking a blending shade separate from the palette. This is Max Blanc Type and using that to blend over the edges. The next shade I'm taking from the palette is this deeper brown and I'm applying this into the outer half of the lid. It's not a complex look by any means whatsoever. It's really simple and that's what I love so much about it. And then I'm going back with a blending brush and blending that outer corner color into the crease. And then I'm taking this shade from the palette and applying it there into the inner half of the lid. And if this shade is too white against your skin tone, if you're darker than me, you could use one of the other colors in here that's a little more muted down, like one of the yellows, like that one or this one up here. It's really up to you, but absolutely mold it to suit your skin tone. Skin tone. I can't talk this morning. And then once I get over to that darker shade on the outer half of the lid, what I do is wipe my brush on a paper towel I have here on my makeup table and then go back and tap in between the two colors until they blend together. And ta-da, that's it. Real simple and easy. Don't you love looks like this? And then for my eyeliner, I used the Lorac Dark Brown Liquid Pen, which I really love these eyeliners. They're really pigmented and easy to apply. I can't talk when I'm doing it, so I'll see you in a few seconds. <laughs> and I have been adding a wing to this look. You don't have to apply one. It's completely up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and add one here. Hot dog, I got him even today. Woo! Hey, you know you do it too. <laughs> For the brows, I'm using the Inglot Brow Defining Gel. This is number 14. It is the perfect color if you are a redhead. Mm -hmm. And I'm using the MAC 263 brush to apply this into the brows. And the way that I do this is I just start on the outer half of the brows, apply it. This is kind of messy, I'll fix it and then just bring it in 
to the inner portion of the brows. Brows are like eyeliner. <laughs> I can't talk when I'm doing them either. I feel like it messes me up. The sun just came out. Yay, sun! Okay, like I was saying, when I get to the inner corner here, not inner corner, inner whatever you want to call this part of the eyebrow, I went ahead and wiped the excess product off of the brush, and I'm using a tiny, tiny amount to go back and fill that area in. And then I go back with a spoolie usually and brush the product through so it's not so strong. Boy, I am popular on Snapchat this morning. <laughs> Who's snapping me? It's Kelly. Hi, Kelly. And now for the lashes. Oh, the lashes. These got a lot of compliments in that video also. So thank you so much. These are the new 3D synthetics that we just got in at inkyminky.com. And these are called I Do. They have become my go-to favorites. I absolutely love these. And I do have a video that will be going up today also showing you all of these new styles and what they look like on the eyes in case you're curious. And the reason that we're calling them 3D is if you look closely at the lash here at an angle, you can see all the little layers in the lash and this makes them super fluffy and very full. And I've been wearing the snot out of these, and I think it's easy to see why <laughs> they're so pretty. And if I turn my eyes on an angle here, you can see what I'm talking about. Very fluffy and full. <gasps> and I've been adding a nude eyeliner into my waterline. This helps to open up and brighten the eyes. This is the one from Rimmel Scandal Eyes. I love their line of eyeliners because they last for what seems like forever on the eyes. They're ridiculously good. And then after I do the face, I'll come back and add a little bit something extra on the lower lash line there. But first, I'm gonna apply a color corrector. This is the yellow one from Graftobian. And I'm using this under my eyes to cancel out the purple under eye circles that I have. Also adding in the green color corrector from Graftobian, and I'm using this to counterbalance the redness, which is everywhere. Oh, look at it. No, don't look at it. <laughs> don't look at it. Then I'm blending it in with a sponge. I don't know where I got this sponge. I'm still trying to figure it out. It is awesome little sponge. It was supposed to be in my Battle of the Drugstore Beauty Blender video, but somehow it got stuck in a bag somewhere. I didn't find it until long after that video. I was so mad, by the way. But it has become one of my most favorite drugstore sponges. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out where I bought it because I wanna buy more of them. I think it was Walgreens, I think. Ah, Graftobian, you rule. You rule, you rule the school, okay? Yeah, just do. Still my all-time favorite. I'm applying a concealer. This is the Chanel, I don't know what it is. Corrector Perfection. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And blending that in underneath the eyes. And for my foundation today, I'm using some of the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Fluid. A little bit goes a long way. You don't need much at all. And repeat, blend again, blend some more. And then when you feel like you can't blend anymore, you better blend, blend. What fun is makeup if you can't have fun when you're applying it? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Life's too short. And to set everything, I'm using the MAC pressed powder. And now that everything is set up here, I'm gonna go back with this shade from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm using the Sigma E30 brush here. I'm running this along the lower lash line, a little bit, you don't want too much. Contouring <laughs> the lower lash line here. So, by making this area darker, keeping that waterline bright, helps to open up and make your eyes look much bigger than what they may be. And adding a mascara to the lower lashes. This is the Chanel De Volume, 
which is my go-to favorite, favorite, favorite. I mean, look at that. Crazy. My blush, I'm using the one from Eve Pearl with her fan brush. Applying that lightly. And for my lips, I'm using a mixture of Max Creme de Nude lipstick with NARS Turkish Delight lip gloss. And the beauty of this look is that you don't have to go with a light pink nude lip like I'm wearing here. You can wear a variety of different colors because the eyes are so neutral. And that's what I love so much about this look, the versatility. 